what you're about to see isn't a war story it's a tech demo Look, India just rewrote the rules of counter-terror operations with the silicon first and the soldier last doctrine. Welcome to Operation Sindoor. It's a covert and an AI-coordinated precision strike that uses drones, smart bombs, satellites, and not a single soldier crossing the border. So let's break it down. Look, nine terror launch pads with 24 smart missiles and zero military or civilian casualties, executed entirely within Indian borders. Look, this was precision programming at 40,000 feet. Rafale fighters, which are India's high-altitude and low-detection stealth machines, scalp missiles with 500-kilometer range, low radar signature, and bunker-busting payloads. You know they're designed for deep structure decimation with surgical precision. And you also have hammer bombs, which are smart munitions with AI-guided targeting. Look, these are built for pinpoint hits in GPS jammed zones, and they're all launched with satellite-verified coordinates. It was crazy to think that it was all just math. And India used real-time satellite feeds from Cartosat. RISAT and GSAT which are all different optical radar and communication relay systems to generate live terrain maps and movement models and look this data was viewed fused processed and validated by AI driven surveillance systems and every target was triple checked before fire and loitering munitions aka kamikaze drones were deployed for close range recon and autonomous strike operations and they're all built by indian defense startups because these drones use real time object detection autonomous flight path correction and you know fail safe about protocols and this wasn't just remote control right this was ai delegated warfare let's take a look at the stack behind the strike and you know what really powered operation sindoor was india's growing defense tech ecosystem you have drdo's targeting and payload integration and you have bel's radar and ecm suppression systems and you also have bdl's fire control logic and you have ntro and ros real time data sync and this was code native combat right made in india and not borrowed by anybody and with projects like idex ai in defense and bharat ai missions ramping up india is now building autonomous battlefield agents and you also have predictive intelligence models right and you also have low latency encrypted battlefield mesh networks so essentially it's all about building a tech first deterrence framework that runs on chips and not boots so by 2030 defense ai and smart weapons will be a 500 billion dollar industry and india wants a seat at the table able not just as a buyer but as a builder because operation sindoor showed the world look we can code defense and we can deploy it quietly effectively and remotely and to the world india's strategic restraint should never be mistaken for technological limitation and to its enemies this is what made in india looks like when precision meets power this is front page by aim tv like share and tag someone who still thinks india imports all of its defense tech